Hey, this is Josh Noel with Premium B, and in this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna show you how to create social media bumpers for your videos. So here we are inside of After Effects and we're going to create two different variations of a bumper. One's really just this outro bumper that you can use it, you know, in the middle of your video or at the end of your video. And of course, we're going to do kind of like a lower third bumper. Uh, of course, you're going to do whatever social media platform you want to do. And before we jump into this tutorial, if you're in a time crunch, if you head over to rocketstock.com, you'll find several templates that have these social media variations on it, like bumpers, banners, end titles, and so on. There's a few different designs among all these different templates. So go ahead and check it out if you're on a time crunch. But for those of us who are ready to go, let's go ahead and create this one first. So let's go up to composition, new composition, and we'll do 1920 by 1080, uh, whatever frame rate you wanna do. I'm using 23.976 on just 10 seconds is okay. And we'll call this one uh, main uh, tutorial and we'll click okay. And then what we're gonna do is we need to bring in some icons. So you can download these project files and you'll have you know all these logos in here. And we're only going to use uh, three social media, which is Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And of course, you can Google search these logos for whatever else you want to do. But let's go in here and let's bring in our three logos and we'll drop them right in. So what we can do is select all three of these layers and hit S on our keyboard for scale. And maybe we'll bring this down to like 51%. And we'll just come here and offset these kind of just a little bit. So what we're going to do is grab one of the layers, go up to Effect, Generate, Fill. And we'll change the color to white. Now you can do whatever color you want to do. So maybe you have a very specific color palette or you can just keep it the same. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to set the fill to white and we're going to copy it and select the other two layers and we're going to paste it on there. So we're going to keep a very consistent color palette. I think it looks nice. So it should be good to go. You know, sometimes when you download logos, you might have to scale down, you know, certain ones a little bit more. So we'll set the Facebook logo to like 49%. Just so it's a little bit more proportional. And if this is too big for you, of course, you can go ahead and paste this down to about like 30% or so. So we can kind of keep it, you know, nice and minimalistic and just come in here and organize it to make it look nice. So placement and alignment is very important uh, when creating these sort of graphics. So what we can do is go to the line tab, go up to window align, and we can make sure to hit the uh, horizontal center alignment. So make sure all these layers are completely centered. So let's grab the textile tool and let's type in follow us. And I am using the typeface Shelby, which is from Adobe Typekit. So if you have the Adobe Creative Cloud, you should be able to download this for free, no problem. So, and that's Shelby right there. And we'll put this right on top of our logos like so. And what we could do is grab like say the Twitter logo and our follow us and go to the line tab and do the horizontal left alignment. So we know that our text is gonna be on that left alignment there. So that looks great. And now we can go up the text out tool again and we can type in, you know, at whatever handle that you're using, we're gonna do it at premium beep. And we'll change the typeface to something a little bit bolder. So I'm gonna use the uh, typeface beep as new. -oo. And we'll come here, we'll make it a little bit smaller. And that should be okay. So what we can do now that our text is here is make sure the text layer is selected and also grab our first social icon, which will use Twitter, go to the line tab and make sure we go to vertical center alignment. So those will be vertically aligned. And of course you might need to readjust the Facebook and Instagram up a little bit. Uh, but then what we can do is grab our text layer here, go up to edit, duplicate, and we can bring this underneath our Facebook or whatever next social icon you're gonna use. And we'll put that link in there. So we can do facebook.com forward slash premium beat. And that should be good to go. And then of course grab the Facebook and make sure to align that as well. And then we'll duplicate this and we'll bring it halfway to our Instagram here. And of course, we'll change this back to at premium beat. And we'll close it off by making sure we align this correctly. And if we need to make any adjustments, we'll go ahead and just use our arrow keys to make any subtle adjustments there. So now we'll talk about overall placement. So let's bring up our title saves by clicking on the crosshair here and click on title action saves. Grab all of our text layers and we can bring this down a little bit and kind of just find like a sweet point in here. So maybe we'll do like on the We'll favor it more towards the left side of our comp. So like that. So now that we're looking great, let's go up to layer new solid and we can call it background and make comp size and we'll go to color here and you can make it any color that you want. We'll use our logo color and we'll click okay. And make sure this layer is underneath 
everything that we have within our composition here. And what we can do is maybe lower the opacity on it. And I'm gonna leave this optional for you guys because we're going to overlay this on top of video. And now that we're looking perfect here, we can bring in our video track and put it on here so we can kind of see what we're doing. And of course we can adjust the opacity depending on how much we want to go through here. Of course you keep it at 100% if you don't want to put this on top of video. And of course this just gives you some ideas about what you can do here. Is this isn't, you know, the absolute way you have to create these bumpers. So now what we're gonna do is group all of our layers together. So select all of them except for your video, go up to layer, pre-compose, and we can call it social media screen and click okay. And we're gonna do a very simple effect. We're gonna go to effect, transition card wipe. And basically we're just gonna have like this sort of card set up here, but let's go ahead and animate it. Let's go to the back layer and let's set it to none. And now we'll go ahead and play the transition completion. So if we bring it all the way to 0%, we'll see the screen in full, but we set it to 100% and add a keyframe for it and move forward by maybe a second and a half and set the transition completion to 0%. We're gonna have this very nice animation just like this. And what we wanna do is go to flip order and set it to right to left. So it will come in from the left side here and it'll go to the right and it looks beautiful. And now what we can do, say if we wanna have this up for like, uh, you know, four seconds, we can go to maybe about five seconds here and we can go up to edit split layer and we can hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes, delete these keyframes and add a keyframe for transition completion Go forward in time, maybe by a sec uh, second and a half or so, set it to 100% and go to the flip order and set this to left to right. And what's gonna happen is at the beginning here, we have it coming on from this sort of way from left to right. And then we'll continue the outro animation from left to right as well. So there's something extra. Now there wasn't a whole lot of, you know, individual animation for our text. It's kind of a nice little screen that you can create very quickly. And now we're talking about creating some of these elements more in a lower third, just like this. We're going to do we're going to do the Instagram because we can talk about color in this one. So we're going to go create a new composition, and we can call this one third uh, to tut, which stands for lower third tutorial, and click OK. And I'll just bring in my footage right away so we can look at something. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the rectangle tool. And we're gonna draw out a thick rectangle going across like this. Now, of course, you might not already have a stroke enabled, so I'll turn that off real fast. So this is kind of what it would look like by default when you bring in a lower third graphic, or excuse me, a rectangle. If we need to make any adjustments to this, because this might be a bit skinny, we'll go ahead and just grab the selection tool and stretch it out by a touch. And this will be our nice lower third graphic. And we'll click on the word stroke, and we can turn on solid color. And I'm gonna use the stroke white, and I have a pixel count of five here at the top. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go click on the word fill and we're gonna click on radial gradient. Now you don't have to do this depending on what you're doing, but we're gonna do the Instagram logo, which has a ton of colors in it. So we're gonna need to create a gradient and that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and bring in the color logo of Instagram. So we can kind of get an idea of what colors are we working with here and how we're gonna do this. So what we can do is go to the uh, gradient fill here, which should already be open for our shape layer. So what you can do is click on start point and end point and they'll be right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on start point and we're gonna bring this all the way to the corner right here. And we're gonna click on end point and we're gonna bring it all the way to this edge over here. And then we're gonna click on the word edit gradient. We're gonna click on the white color stop, grab the eyedropper tool, and we're gonna select this very nice yellow shade right here. Then we'll click on the last color stop and we're gonna select this very deep purple color. Now we're gonna add two more stops in the middle. So just come here, click anywhere in this color strip here to add a new color stop. And we're gonna grab this orange color and we're gonna add another color stop and we're gonna grab more of this um, magenta color here. So now we kind of have this nice uh, Instagram gradient and we can spend some time perfecting this. Maybe I can make this one a little bit more, I don't know, orange. If I wish, maybe I'll go in here and add like, um, made this one a little bit more pink. So we're just, you know, adding this a little bit more customization can, you know, definitely go a long way here. But this is a rough idea of how we can create this and make this look good. And of course you can just use a solid color if you're doing Facebook or any other social media site. Okay, so we don't need this logo anymore. And now what you're gonna wanna do is bring in your Instagram logo. So we'll bring this in here and we'll go up to generate, effect generate fill and we'll set this to white and we'll hit S on our keyboard for scale and we'll bring down our logo and kind of start positioning this where it's gonna look very nice. 
So we'll put it right here. And then we can type out our new text. So I went ahead and just pasted in some text here and kind of did a little bit of design, put the follow us on top of our handle here. And we have our logo in a very nice position. So now we basically just have the static graphic here doing nothing for us. So let's go ahead and animate this and then you should be able to apply this, you know, basic animation principles to other social media animations that you might do. So for our text, we're gonna need some presets. We're gonna go up to window, effects and presets. And we're gonna go right into our animation presets over here. And we're gonna to go to our text folder, which I already have open. And we're gonna to go to our blurs folder and we're gonna bring in the evaporate preset on top of follow us. And what we're gonna do is hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And we're gonna select our last keyframe over here and bring it all the way to zero seconds to begin of our composition. And we'll bring this last keyframe into about a minute, second and a half. And we'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So now we'll have this very nice animation which you can apply to other sort of text animations as well. And we'll go to the premium beat text and we'll go to animate in. And we're gonna bring on the slow fade on preset here and put it on top of premium beat, hit your keyboard to bring up the keyframes and we'll bring both of these to the beginning here. Maybe a little bit further off like this, a little bit of an offset and bring the last keyframe in and by a touch and make an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now we have this very you know, nice text animation and let's for our logo here, let's go ahead and grab the Instagram logo, hit S on keyboard for scale, add a keyframe there, bring the keyframe forward in time, and set the scale down to 0%. Make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now we have this very nice animation here. And we can do a little bit of offsetting. So maybe we want our Instagram logo to come on first. So we'll bring our text layers over a little bit. And you know, that's looking good. And now let's go ahead and animate this lower third on to come on exactly when we would like it to come on. So what we can do is grab the shape layer here, hit P on keyboard for position, go to like maybe one second, add a keyframe for position, go to the beginning of our timeline and position it all the way below our composition. So it's down here and make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe. Let's go ahead and bring our other layers over a little bit other than our shape layer. So the uh, animation for our logo doesn't start until it's on top of our lower third. And let's say we wanna animate the lower third out very easily. What we can do is we can select all three of our layers here except for the shape layer in our footage. Go up to layer, pre-compose, and we can call it social info and click okay. And before we do anything else, let's go ahead and animate our shape layer to go off frame a little bit. So go to like five seconds or so add a keyframe for position and go to the end, maybe six seconds and make it go underneath. So what we're gonna do is get rid of this uh, lower third graphic. And even that looks nice on this footage without having the lower third here, but we're gonna go ahead and stick with this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate the shape layer, put it on top of our social info. What we're gonna do is toggle switch to the most until you see the track mat and set the track mat for the social info layer to alpha mat. And as soon as we animate our background layer here down, we're going to cut off the social media information. So that's looking great. And make sure to toggle switch the modes and turn on motion blur for your shape layers. Turn it on to top and you should be good to go. All right, and if you were following step by step with us, you should have gotten these results very similar to it. And of course you should be able to easily apply these to other social media designs. And here is the uh, kind of lower third bumper that we've did. And you know, very simple stuff, but you should be able to apply it to a lot of other designs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more tutorials, please be sure to check out our blog at premiumbeat.com. And if you're in the need for royalty-free music, we have a huge library full of great music for your projects. Once again, thank you for watching this video. And this has been Joshua Noel from premiumbeat.com.